History of Discourse Communities by Farhan Malik Definitions of Discourse Communities A group of people who share basic values and assumptions. Groups that have goals or purpose and use communication to achieve these goals. Social values and center of a set of ideas. How do we analyze discourse communities? To get a better understanding, let's discuss the two terms separately. Discourse. It could be described as written or spoken communication, discussion of a topic in a speech or writing, conceptual generalization of conversation, identity kit, and perception. Since discourse affects perception, let's discuss an example. A soldier is ordered to shoot an unarmed woman. The soldier refuses to obey the order of his superior officer. What does that mean? Discourse dictates our perception on the soldier. Is the soldier a moral person or is he committing mutiny? The world, the writer and the reader can understand a different meaning from the same text as we can see in this example. Here is perhaps a simpler example. Is it a lamp or two faces? Now let's describe communities. They could be described as a group of people living in the same place, a group of people having particular characteristics in common, feeling of fellowship with others as a result of sharing attitudes, interests, and goals. And it is important to note that entering a community is a choice made by individuals. Here is an example of a small community. These are businessmen and businesswomen who all share the same goal of competing in a capitalistic economy to make money and get ahead of each other. Their lexis or the use of vocabulary will vary greatly compared to another community. They may use finance, marketing, and business terms that others may not be familiar with. Here we have a group of individuals from a Hindu community performing a holy ritual. It relates back to the different perception of discourse. To Westerners, it may seem socially unacceptable and primitive behavior, but to the Hindus, this ritual purifies them of sins. So what is a discourse community? I have stayed away from the work of John Swills when defining a discourse community. I have gathered information and research to create my own unified theory on discourse communities. So what's my theory of a discourse community? I have stayed away from the work of John Swales when defining a discourse community. I have gathered information and research to create a theory of my own as defined here. A discourse community is a socially structured group of people moving along towards a similar destination, each having a different perception on the path and the destination itself. Let's discuss a discourse community that I am a part of. Pictured here is the Galita Community Center. The Muslim community in Santa Barbara gathers here every Friday for prayer similar to that of Sunday Church. The goal is to pray to one God and become more socially involved with the community. Here we see different people with different perspectives on life all praying under one roof, having the same goal. There are young and old, whites, blacks, Latinos, Asians, North Africans, and Middle Easterners, clean-shaven and long-bearded, converts who were Christians, native Californians raised as Muslims, folks wearing baseball caps, turbans, and beanies, all have the same goals. So what is the goal? One of the most important goals of this community is to build a mosque where everybody could pray. Muslims believe in passing on religious values to their children, hence building a mosque would serve as a religious school as well. Like I mentioned before, that entering a community is a choice made by individuals. The children one day may not choose to be part of the community. Nevertheless, the parents feel it's their duty to teach their children and help them make the right decisions for them. Once again, perception matters. Someone outside of the community may see teaching religious values as brainwashing. 
They may want the world to move away from religions and focus on becoming a modern civilization. To Muslims, however, teaching religious values to their children may be the whole purpose of their lives. Here we have a woman from a Muslim discourse community and a woman who is not. It is important to note that people outside of a particular discourse community will have an opposing opinion on the beliefs and the procedures of that community. Individuals outside of a discourse community will tend to criticize it. It is important to note that an individual's opposing views are not rational unless that individual is a part of the same community. Communication is also a defining factor of a discourse community. Formal communication in the community is done through the organization's website. All important dates, events are posted on the website. Emails are the primary genre to send messages. Youngsters, however, get their news uh, through a page on Facebook. Another way to communicate with the community is through the imam or the priest. Before prayer every day, there's a lecture given by the imam on important issues and to make important announcements. This was my definition and explanation of a discourse community. It is based on the work of John Swales. However, I have created my own unified theory as to what a discourse community is and provided examples to support my theory.